Hello and welcome back. Tonight's movie was The Roost. Now, before before we say anything else, just just a number. Just throw out a number. Negative seven. So I was gonna say two. I'm gonna explain why, and I think you'll agree with a lot of it. Almost everything in the movie was great. The introduction and the presentation around it, like the guy narrating the creature feature and everything, was amazing. And throughout the movie. I think the effects were really good, both the sound effects and the special effects, like the practical everything they did. I think the setting was good, the cinematography was good. Everything... The cinematography was garbage. I loved the cinematography. But I think the biggest issue here, and this is my biggest pet peeve in horror movies, is people behaving stupid. Yeah. Like everything in here is just people being the dumbest possible thing. Yeah. Like, no one would ever react the way the people in this movie reacted to anything ever. Yeah, right. It was so poorly written and so unrealistic and dumb that there's no way to get engaged. Like, I can't disassociate enough. There's not enough suspension and disbelief to make me believe people would do any of the things these people did. Right. Like, I cannot get into this movie. No. Well, first off, that logo made me think I was going to watch chickens murdering people, not bats. Yeah, being called the roost, I would never go to bats. I that was not. I know bats all. also roost. I thought this was going to be something but similar I to the birds. birds. Like when you when you initially clicked on it before, not this logo, but there's a different logo in the movie, mm -hmm. and it looked like it had feathers hanging off of it. So I was yeah. thinking murderous <clears throat> chickens, and then I saw the barn, and I was like murderous chickens. By the way, I think there is a movie like that, but it's not this one, and it didn't turn out to be that way. But yeah, it started out with the with the tales from the crypt style. That was amazing. Intro. That was fine. That I'll give a seven. That was I really enjoyed that. It was fine, but the dude did a horrible job of being creepy. I don't think he was trying to he be was creepy. I think he was trying to be that old school, just like the Crypt Keeper. Like I think for what he was going for, it was dead on. No. Like I thought that was great. No, it was bad acting. He just sounded like he was talking rather than trying to legit be a creepy dude. It was just not good. And then the situation, the story. Is just so bad that I couldn't even feel bad for the characters not making good decisions. Like, I couldn't... Like, I wanted this to be a movie where it was so bad that it was fun to make fun of. Mm -hmm. But I was just doing that so I didn't stab myself in my goddamn eye. Yeah. yeah. But, but the, the, the story and the situation that these people are put in from the get-go is so bad and so mind-numbingly dumb that I yeah. couldn't even hate... The fact that they were making bad decisions because it was just so bad to begin with. It was just terrible. The movie looked awful. The cinematography was just like someone with a handheld shaky camera. It, it, the, the dialogue was the worst I've ever heard in a movie. Yeah, yeah. I will say the bats flying around because the quality of the video itself is so bad that the bats when they flew around looked good. Not when they landed at anything. They looked shit then, but when they were flying in the air, they looked fine. And that was the one thing about this movie I will say I liked. I just... But still, a negative like, seven. We, we were nitpicking through the whole movie. Yeah. And, like, we've watched a lot of horror movies together. We've watched a lot of bad ones, a lot of cheesy ones. But, like, even... I was a teenage were skunk. That was which, fine. it was very cheesy and campy, but it was supposed to be. It was self-aware and, like, it was intentional. And that was amazing. And, like, we talked a lot through that and joked with it, but it was fun. It's like you said, it's so bad it's good. Right. I wouldn't even say it's bad. It's just, it's good. Um, even Velocipaster, which was horrible. Velocipaster was one of those that's so bad it's good kind of situations. Yeah. Yeah, like, that was so awful that you could almost have fun watching it. This, this is awful, but not the fun kind of awful. This is just boring and miserable. Like, they were taking themselves way too seriously. Yeah, and they had no right to. It was not good. Don't. Don't ever watch this. I gave it a two because there were some elements I liked unrelated to the movie. I liked the introduction, the the little the Crypt Keeper part, and like the violin and some of the score I thought was decent. And I didn't hate the effects. Like the bats were a little cheesy at points, but I actually thought it was an older movie. Knowing it was two thousand five, maybe it would only be a one because well, they could have done better. There were flip phones in the movie, so it couldn't have been yeah. any older than that. But just. Yeah, the, the movie, the story, the dialogue, the acting, everything is just shit. And it's not, you can't be sympathetic, you don't care, nothing's believable, it's all just terrible. So we're just going to stop, and we'll see you tomorrow with something that, for the love of God, has to be better.